This is monsoon season in Pakistan. Days of rain turns roads into rivers. In the region of Punjab, this country's bread basket. Crops have been destroyed and people stranded in the flooding. Last evening, as the flood waters entered the area, we climbed onto the trees to save our lives. Five of us were stranded for 20 hours. We had lost hope and weren't aware that someone would come to our rescue. The government has set up dozens of relief camps for the victims. It has also sent search and rescue teams to the most badly affected areas. We have just evacuated five persons who were hanging over the trees. We have evacuated them after 20, 20 hours and uh, they were luckily survived. And uh, we have just evacuated them. I think that's a great success by rescue teams. <laughs> Many areas have been hit by worse flooding in 20 years and people in villages like these are suffering the most. Their houses are typically built with mud bricks, making them vulnerable to collapse. Cities are also affected. Flooding in the largest city, Lahore, has disrupted commercial activity, forcing some businesses to shut. The Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif is coming under criticism for not doing enough. He's been facing weeks of an opposition movement, calling for his resignation. But Sharif is trying to focus attention on the disaster. He said the government will do everything it can to help people in distress. Kamal Haider Al Jazeera, Islamabad.